Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, definitely been busy lately. Um, also, real quick, before I uh, um, get to the video, I do want to mention that I did pre-order, um, not pre-order, I did order, uh, they had it in stock, a um, the Ultra Instinct Goku, the new one, the uh, Toyotaro one. I got it from Figure Grail. Um, so it should be here in a day or so uh, by Thursday and a couple days from the release of this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Anybody that watches the video and you know, I'm, you know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get in depth and uh, we're going to check out the differences between the new one and the old one. Uh, obviously the face plates are going to be the biggest difference, but we're still going to check out the body mold, you know, etc, etc. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Uh, today we are going to tackle uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. We are going to do um, head swaps for this guy right here. I think this is probably one of the... Uh, um, coolest battle damage bodies uh, with the blue shirt. Uh, definitely um, iconic. Uh, so we're going to definitely do some head swaps. Uh, I got about nine of these to go through. So we're going to get to it. Uh, so let's go. Okay. Also, just so you know, um, this one here is the demoniacal fit Goku sign body. Uh, it is exactly the same. It is pretty much a clone of the SH version. Um so yeah, um, I used to have the SH, ugh, I'm sorry, I used to have the SH version, but you know, then I sold it because it was selling for a lot, I used that money to get other figures, and this guy was cheap when I got it at the time, it was like 50 bucks, but um, they did do reissues, I think the only place this guy is available right now, and even though this guy's expensive, he's still cheaper than the SH sign, there's like two versions, two versions of SH sign, and he's like sold... He's expensive, he's like 150 and above. But uh if you get it cheaper than that, then that's awesome. You got to come up. Don't hesitate. If you can find one of those for like 80, 90, get that. It's a done deal. Um, but yeah, this guy you could still find him on AliExpress. They did do like restocks, but this guy's price has gone up since as well. He's not 50 no more or 60. He's like 80 or 90 on AliExpress, maybe even a hundred. I haven't looked in a while, but he's still the cheaper one if you want this body. Um especially the second version. Uh if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch one of my older videos. Uh, I do a comparison between the first release and the second. They fixed the, the joints. Uh, they tighten them up on the second version. So that was awesome too. So anyways, that's why we're using this one here. Um, he's pretty compatible with everybody uh, for the most part. And like I said, it's the exact same. It's pretty much a clone of the SH version. So here we go. This is the uh, superhero head sculpt. You can clearly see already that this one's not going to be that great of a fit because of the skin tone. Oh, it's actually a little loose. Wait, no, it's not. There you go. Um, yeah, the skin tone is definitely off, so that's a no-go. All right, one of the ones that really works well is the SH Figure Arts Saiyan Rays on Earth head sculpt. The skin tone just matches so perfectly, and, you know, check it out. You guys let me know. See for yourselves, right? Skin tone matches nicely. Let me get that close up. Right? Look at that. Awesome. And there he is with the SH Figure Arts uh, superhero head sculpt. I'm oh, sorry, not superhero. Uh, Goku Super Saiyan Full Power. <laughs> sorry. Full Power head sculpt. There you go. Uh, the skin tone is actually slightly off only, but it doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't move too much because of the design of the uh, head sculpt, uh, the inside. But uh, otherwise, it looks good. There you go. Well, let me get a uh, see if I can tilt that neck a little bit better. There you go. So, yeah. There he is with the demoniacal fit Super Saiyan hair sculpt and faceplate as well. The uh, I actually like the way this looks. This looks really sick right here. This looks pretty awesome because the uh, Super Saiyan looks pale. It's the metallic hair sculpt from the uh, the DF clone Goku. Uh, and then the faces are from the GT um, Goku, the Super Saiyan uh, demoniacal fit one. But yeah, there you go. Look at that. I actually like the way this one looks a lot. Looks awesome. All right. Let me zoom in on that. That one looks really good. 
And then here we have, um, this is the Demonical Fit Super Saiyan hair sculpt that comes with the GT Goku. The Unexpected Adventure, that's the name of the figure. Uh, this one sits a little high. Everybody, I think by this point, if you have it, you know this one sits high on some bodies. Uh, it fits perfectly on the body it came with. So, But other than that, yeah, there you go. So, that's what it looks like. Just so you know. And there he is with the Demonical Fits Super Saiyan 2 Goku hair sculpt and face plates. Uh, the uh, the Majin Buster. Get that full view. That actually looks really good. I like the way the hair looks on this body. That looks really awesome. Look at that. Looks awesome. Skin tone slightly off. Get you a close up. But for the most part, it looks good. There you go. And I just thought of this right now as I was doing it. And if you wanted to use a faceplate that fits the skin tone a little bit better, you can use, and I just noticed it right now, um, I swapped out the Demonical Fit faceplate for the uh, the SH Goku Full Power faceplate. So I have the Full Power faceplate from SH. With the demonical fit uh, Super Saiyan 2 hair sculpt on this body. That actually works a lot better because the skin tone matches a lot, a lot cleaner, and that actually looks really good. A lot better. So there you go. Look at that. Alright, and here we go. Now we have the uh the SH. The SH figure arts um Super Saiyan God Goku, the event exclusive with the translucent hair. And that does not look bad either. It looks pretty good, especially if you wanted to recreate the uh, the battle damage from like the Broly movie where he uh, has his blue shirt. So that's pretty cool, right? Where he briefly rips it off. So yeah, that looks really good. Skin tone slightly off, but it looks good overall. Let me get that close up. Looks good. And there you go. Now he has the, um, obviously this one also comes with a uh, Demonical Fitz version of a blue hair sculpt. The, the, it's exactly the same. Like the skin, uh, the, sorry, the color is slight, really slightly different, but it's pretty much blue. Face plates are slightly different. Like it's really hard to tell to the difference. But this is an SH Figure Arts uh, blue hair sculpt. So let me get that on there. That one looks really good as well, right? That one looks really good actually. Yeah, blue on battle damage looks nice. We get that up close. Right. Looks nice. And last but not least, we have the um the SH figure arts of uh, Goku Ultra Instinct, the original release, uh hair sculpt and the face plates. Um, that actually looks really good as well too. The skin tone, the skin tone matches, I think, perfectly. Like, like as good as it's gonna get. That looks perfect to me. So let me know what you guys think. But yeah, there you go. And I'll show you the back. Yeah, all of these definitely popped in nicely. But like I said, I always recommend like for, if it gets if you feel a little resistance when you're popping these heads on, especially for the new people out there collecting. Uh, you know, use the blow dryer a little bit, warm it up, or a little warm water to loosen it to, you know, make the plastic a lot more pliable. But, anyways, um, there you go. He looks pretty awesome. Uh, one more time on the eyes. Looks really good. I want to make sure it looks clear. There you go. And last but not least, I wasn't going to throw this one in there because it's pretty much the same base form, but it is slightly different. So I'm going to throw it in there um, at the last minute. Um, this one here is the um, this one is here the Unexpected Adventure base Goku head, the uh, Demonical Fit for the GT body um, with the new updated face plates on the, with the lines. So there you go. That actually looks really good. The skin tone is not off by much if at all yeah it's slightly but it looks good wow 
you definitely have a lot of customization options. Yeah, so just one more time. Uh, this is the Demoniacal Fit Unexpected Adventure GT Goku head sculpt with the face the face plates on this uh, body. So there you go. This body definitely has a lot of options that you can use it on. So that's pretty damn awesome. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Um, if you enjoyed, give me a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.